Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your story loaders in the map. Hi, load of flows is horrible. We are spiffing level 22, boxes made in cutest wacky 2013, and our own neutral guy. I find myself rather curious right now as to how long this works. I think I may have to find, try one. But first. I am going to attempt to do this the old fashioned way. Which might be unwise. Probably is. Thing is, which I just need to get in there. And I need to get out of there. Which really should mean that I should not hang around longer than necessary. Hmm. Um, no enemies here? Good. Thought I heard someone there. So let's just close the door behind me to be safe. Let's close that one as well. So I can casually loot some toy cars, except I don't want to. I'm not sure the conductors will be any use to me either. Those footsteps sound like they're close by, but that's because they are. Not going in that room, we can find another route. This chamber is safe for now, though. Ah, except... Ah, shite. Okay, I've been noticed. If I stealth boy... Ah. That, that takes, takes care of that. But how long does it last? That really is my primary concern. Because you need to last long enough to I can get right in the in the heart of the little facility. Which seems to be here. Um so if I could find a staircase. Well well, you know. Where here can I place the observer? Because I don't intend to drink the water. That, that much is for certain. Is this a place I can plant it? Because this looks like the right area for... the device. The observer. Oh, I accidentally notified someone of my presence. That was not part of the plan. Can I plant it on there? No. Where can I plant it? Do I just drop it somewhere? Drop it like it's hot? No? Okay. I, I'm not really familiar with that sort of music anyway, so that plan is okay with me. Okay, then... Hide it. Yes. Return to Moira. That's what I need to do now, which means going to that door and hoping the stealth point lasts for a bit longer. Oh, right, this is a... What is that? That is something different. That's not your standard Milo, that's more like... Like, uh, that suit that uh, Hannibal kept wearing in A-Team. You know? Ah, he noticed me. That's not good. But at least he realized I was present. Guess that counts as noticing me. Uh, but I... I think I will be able to get out of here without initiating combat. 
that's pretty much all I want. Okay, that goes back down. Is there a way to get out of here from this particular area without having to resort to returning to the previous area? Yes, sir. Unless this is not it. This doesn't look like it. It really doesn't. This looks like I'm going deeper and deeper into the facility. But that guy looks like he's doing the boop. Oh, and this is a doom. And the game froze. And the game returned to from frozenness. And I really don't want to be down here. Oh. That's useful. I knew I kept the repair skill around for something. Wait, did I get recipes for a flamethrower? That's nice. The tenderizer. Oh. That's very much nice as well. I should close the door behind me. Because my stealth point just wore off. I wasn't aware of that when I decided on the plan, but hey. It was still a wise idea. Where did I see the cigarette? Is that a singular cigarette? Like, can I actually do anything with that? I don't think I can. What if I combined it with a... Pilot lighter? Could I get myself something to smoke? Also, big guns increased by two. I could just run out. Except, no, no, I can't. I just remembered that these fuckers hit like a motherfucker. They're basically trucks on legs. They will bite my head off if given the chance, so I will try not to give them the chance. I do hope this is actually in the right direction. But... Well, Golden Capital Race then kind of looks like the right direction, yeah. Okay, caution. Uh, how about you throw caution to the wind and return? Oh, I can't do that, can I? No, I can't. Huh. Well, this must be the f memorial itself. What interesting. Seriously, I now have the tenderizer. How much damage does that do? 20. She's give up this 27. And this lighter, well, of course. And my Chinese officer sword, sword does nine, but that's rather damaged. The Enderizer seems to be a very good, unique weapon for melee purposes, so I will keep it around. I assume I will repair it with. Uh, Sledgehammers. Can I get a stealth kill with this? Because I kinda want to get a stealth kill with this. Are we close enough yet? <laughs> we are. Yeah. It seems to be rather slow though. Oh, and I seem to be rather hurt. Wow. Whoops. Two. Four poison glands, and those bastards are expensive. Okay, so the Denderizer is more likely to be something that I will just tuck away in a chest. One of the lockers. Probably one of the lockers, yeah. 
doesn't seem to be quick enough to be useful in most situations. So I'll just let it be. Ah. I'm not in combat, so it is in fact time to return to Megaton. Huh. Apparently the last US president to have a beard was President Lincoln. Is that really so? I just read it on Twitter, so it can be a falsehood. Right, I'll put away some of my stuff then. Namely, I put away the tenderizer because that's kind of broken. Ah, I have a free, free product of mine. Cool. I could sell that. Or I could buy that, but you know, whichever. Things are going well for you today, sir. Ah, oh, they are. They are. I would say they're going rather well because. As we are all aware, I did get another thing done for the Wasteland Survival Guide, which is pithy. Which means you will no longer ask me about my looks. So are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of... I slipped Observer in the eggs and they're none the wiser. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. I've been getting a good signal, but what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? Huh. Oh. <laughs> I kind of like that there's, there's actually an option for strength that is wise. So they don't see to... And actually, I think that is more interesting to say than the intelligence one. So they don't seem to fight each other, so no struggle for leadership. Oh, really? Maybe their leader figures are bred. Sort of like ant queens. I wonder if relocating a Mirelurk king would prompt the others to move. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these, so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Five stealth points, that's more than I used. Thanks. Uh, I'm ready for more research on the second chapter. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. I hesitate to ask, but I'll need to examine the effects of serious physical trauma. I wouldn't ask if I couldn't fix you up afterwards, of course. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Uh, I'm going to hate myself for this, but what do you mean about handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Yeah. Hmm. Well, well, actually, why get myself hurt? I'm a good enough doctor to explain this part for you. That'll save a lot of time and effort. Oh, and blood on your part. A real-world example might help more, but I won't turn down the help. Oh, and here's your pay for it all. Guess you earned it by working smarter, not, uh, more self-destructively. The last task for this chapter is something about more rats, right? Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Okay. Uh, I'll test out the repellent for you. It'll 
be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on 10 or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Thanks. So, um, do you have anything for sale before we end this? What do you need? I need a lot, you, but you don't have anything of the sort. Thanks. Bye. Good hunting. I'll see you around. See ya. Uh, same goes for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.